my name is Gemma and today I'm going to be doing my August wrap up and my September TBR. If you don't already know because you haven't been watching my videos for a while, I moved to America a couple of weeks ago. So that's why the background is a little bit different and kind of super boring. I haven't really gotten anything decorative for my room yet. So because I moved to America, that means that my TBR is a little bit different for September, but I'll get into that when I talk about my TBR. But considering I moved, in the month of August I managed to read a total of seven books which I think is kind of cool. To be fair I did participate in the booktubeathon so a couple of the books that I'm going to be talking about I actually did a wrap up for that so I'll leave that video linked in the description box below. Apart from that we're just going to get started. So the first book that I read in August was The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis which I gave five out of five stars. This one I read for the booktubeathon so if you want to find out more of my thoughts on it you can just check out that video. The second book that I read in the month of August was Losing Brave by Bailey Madison and Stephanie Miller and I gave this one a 2 out of 5 stars. Not only did I talk about this in my booktubeathon wrap up but I also have done a full book talk on this video which I will leave linked in the description box below so definitely go and check that one out if you are interested to find out why I only gave it 2 stars. The third book that I read in August was Hunter by Megan Spooner and I gave that one 3 out of 5 stars. Let me tell you just it's weird not holding up books but obviously I don't have them with me because they're all at home. The thing about Hunted was it took me I think three weeks to read. I just, I found the story to be really slow and super, like there was pretty much no plot at all. It's a shame really because I absolutely adore Beauty and the Beast and I was really looking forward to this Beauty and the Beast retelling but there was just something about it that didn't gel with me, I guess is possibly the best way of saying it. I found the characters to be kind of boring and also for the majority of the book the only character that we really saw was Eva and the Beast. So if those characters aren't holding themselves up there's no way they're going to be able to entertain me for like a good third of the book when it's just the two of them so that was a real letdown for me. I did really enjoy the ending of the novel though that's why I managed to give it three stars and not two which was kind of what I was thinking for the majority but I thought the ending was really well done and I really really enjoyed what Megan did with that. Once again though I do find it kind of upsetting that this was a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I didn't particularly enjoy it but I guess you can't love every Beauty and the Beast retelling that you read. The fourth book that I finished in the month of August was The Good Girls by Sarah Shepard and I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. Good Girls is the sequel to The Perfectionists and oh my goodness this book was so good. So I started reading this book before I moved to America and I finished it when I got to America and honestly, oh my goodness, it was amazing. I loved the characters in this. I really loved this murder mystery. It took me forever to figure out who I thought was the killer. And then when I did finally decide who the killer was, that person immediately got murdered. And I was like, mm, okay, I may be wrong. And then I did not see the killer coming. And I definitely did not see the massive twist in this book. And when the twist happened, I sort of thought back a little bit about what I'd read and I went, Huh. Yeah, the, I, can, I can totally see how that works and I love when that happens when there's a twist and you can think back on it and you can really sort of see the payoff. It's so good. The fifth book that I finished in the month of August was The Opposite of Here by Tara Altabrando and I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars. When I first started reading this one I was really, really, really enjoying it. I thought it had this awesome mystery element to it. I really enjoyed the characters. I really enjoyed figuring out what was going on. But as we continued on with the book I just started getting more and more confused. The characters that were brought in I was just kind of like why are you here I don't see the point of you and then the actual payoff and the ending of the novel was just downright confusing and also really unsatisfying so I wasn't the biggest fan of this book. I've heard that said a bit about Tara Elsa Brando's writing I've heard that she has these really awesome concepts and then like this really bad payoff and I, I didn't think the book was bad or anything I just would have liked a more satisfying ending to it. The sixth book that I finished this month was an audiobook and that was The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, which I gave 4 out of 5 stars. It took me forever to finish listening to this one. I started listening to it I think during the biannual Bibliothon which was all the way at like the beginning of July or something. So it's taken me a while but I finally finished it and honestly it was so good. It was hilariously funny. I've seen the movie but I'd never like read the book or anything and I really wanted to see how it all pieced together. Honestly fantastic. Really good. It had so much humour and I can see how that humour then translated on screen. But it also had really lovable characters. This really simple but really enjoyable kind of plot. I really recommend the audiobook for this one because it's one of those books that you don't really need to pay a lot of attention to. You can literally just kind of have it on in the background and you can just have it wash over you and you can hear things like the dolphin saying so long and thanks for all the fish. 
And then the seventh and final book that I read this month was Beowulf, which I gave two out of five stars to. So here's the thing, I'm at uni now and I'm starting uni reads again, but unlike Australia where I can get away with pretty much not reading anything, here in America they do reading quizzes, so I actually have to read the books, which kind of sucks because I end up reading something like Beowulf. Beowulf was this epic 3,000 line poem that was written a really, 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 really long time ago, and I did not understand one word of it. Pretty much I had to wait until I went into class to really understand what the hell was going on. I didn't like any of the characters, I didn't like the plot, I thought it was really convoluted and confusing and I just, I really didn't enjoy reading this novel. So there we go, those are all of the books that I read in the month of August and now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my September TBR. So obviously in the months leading up to this, my TBR has always been the YA Circle Book of the Month and my TBR Draw Challenge and any books that I have to read for university. So while I'm here in America, I'm not going to be doing a TBR Draw Challenge because I don't really have any books to pick from in order to do the TBR Joe Challenge. This is literally, this is all the books that I currently own, that I that currently physically have with me. And also I probably won't be doing many fun reads, mainly because I have so much to read for university, it's kind of ridiculous. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about, about the books that I have to read for uni, but probably not even all of them because I don't even know all of them. So one book that I know for sure that I need to read for my medieval studies class is Seven Viking Romances by No one, apparently there's no one here. Uh, this is a collection of Norse short stories and I am not adding this onto my Goodreads because we're only actually reading two short stories from it, but I enjoyed the short story that I read yesterday enough that I may actually read the full book. I haven't really decided yet. It's all kind of going to depend on how much I enjoy reading them and how much time I have to actually read. And for my American literature class, I have to read Hiroshima by John Hersey. I don't know a lot about this book, all I know is that it is set, I believe, directly after the atomic bomb goes off. I think it's to do with I think it deals with the survivors and their stories, I'm pretty sure. We're doing a lot about the Cold War in American literature this semester, so that's gonna be interesting, I suppose. And then I have other books that I have to read as well, but I don't know what they are, so I'm just gonna read them off the syllabus. So I also need to read this month the Nibelungen Lead. The Nibelungen Lead. That's a, that's a book, the Nibelungen Lead. Okay, that's a book that I apparently have to read this, this month, that's gonna be fun. And cool, nothing else from that topic, that's good. And from my American Literature class, I also need to read The Book of Daniel. Actually, I need to get a copy of The Book of Daniel, I should do that soon. And I need to read Lib... Libra. Libra. Hmm. So that is basically all I have on my TBR at the moment and is pretty much how the next couple of months is going to go. I am hoping of course to get to read other more exciting books in between that, especially I know there are some new releases coming out that I'm really looking forward to, but basically my TBR is full of uni books and I, I don't really know how to deal. Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comment section below if you have read any of these books, I would absolutely love to know. If you are interested, I have started up doing reading vlogs, there are two currently up on my channel at the moment, both of which I will leave linked in the description box below. That's kind of a follow me around my new city, kind of, and watch me study. Basically so far has been what those vlogs have been. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely check them out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.